What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome to the video. Um, so for those of you that don't know me, as I said, my name is Kenji and I'm a second year medical student at King's College London. Uh, the reason <laughs> there's a lot of noise is because my dog's actually here. So here's my dog, um, her name is Yuki and she'll be in the background, so sorry about the noise. Um, but yeah, I'm a second year medical student studying in King's College London. Okay, I'm gonna have to put it away because she's making so much noise. All right, let's try that again. So my name is Kenji and I'm a second year medical student studying at King's College London. It feels amazing to say that I'm a second year now. Um, in my last video, I told you guys I just finished my first year of medical school, um, but I didn't get my results yet. Um, but I got my results recently and I made it through to second year. So yes, I'm finally a second year and it feels absolutely amazing. So in this video, I kind of wanted to put my mind back a year, a year ago, um, all the way back in September. And if I kind of rewind time, I want to think about what sort of advice I'd give to my first year self. So I put together a few different things um, that I'd love to tell you guys about and hopefully it can help you out in some way or form. Obviously this is um, tailored towards medicine, but if you're starting a university in general, these points will definitely, definitely help you in some way or form, uh, or at least I hope it will. Oh, by the way, the reason why my background looks a lot more different is because I've actually moved out of my accommodation. Um, so previously I was staying at Great Dover Street Apartments, which is one of King's College London's residencies. Um, but I've just recently moved out there because my contract um, wasn't for the summer as well. Um, so right now I'm back in Northwest London and I'm staying with some family uh, for the next three weeks until I finish off my research project. And then as soon as my research project is done, I'll be going on holiday for the last six weeks of summer until I come back for my second year. But without further ado, let's get straight into the topic of today. So the first bit of advice that I'd give to my first year self is to be as social as possible. I've said this a few times in my last videos, but being a good doctor is not about getting the best grades in medical school. It's about being able to socialize with as many people as possible. So do your best to socialize, uh, go to all the social events, especially within Welcome Week. Um, in Freshers Week, which is the Welcome Week that we have in the UK, it's so, so important to go to as many events as possible and talk to as many people as possible because I actually met some of my best friends um, who I'm best friends with now at King's College London during that reading week. So try as hard as possible to meet new people um, throughout the year as well. You know, it can be so easy to fall into the trap of working 24 seven. You know, medicine is a busy degree and it's so easy to fall into the trap of just sitting at home and revising all the time. So I do stress to go out and meet as many people as possible to try and build up that social side of you and the ability to talk to as many different cultures and you know, people from different backgrounds. And that'll be so, so helpful to you as a doctor. So that's the first bit of advice that I'd like to give you. The second bit of advice that I'd definitely say is to try and attend all of the lectures and tutorials. In university, it can be so easy to skip all the lectures because at least in King's College London, the lectures aren't compulsory. So you can literally sit at home and watch the lectures online from your couch. And it can be so easy to fall into that trap. I wouldn't be telling the truth if I told you that I went to every single lecture because some days I didn't. But I definitely think it is important to try to go to as many lectures and tutorials as possible. Uh, like I said, in university, it's so easy to just skip them because it's not compulsory. You know, you might be coming from A level where everything's compulsory um, and you might think that you don't, you don't necessarily have to go to every session. This kind of depends on how competent you think you are. So as I'm a graduate and I have a degree in biomedical sciences, I didn't necessarily go to all the lectures because uh, I spent a lot of my time in the labs. If you are a postgraduate and you feel like you don't necessarily have to go to all of the lectures, that's completely fine, um, but it's up to you. If this is your first degree, however, your first time going to university, I definitely recommend, at least for the first year, going to all the lectures, seeing how that goes. And if you're comfortable with you know, not going to all the lectures, in your second year, you can do just that if you'd like to. Um, but at least for first year, I definitely encourage you to go to all of the planned sessions. Next thing I'd say is to join a society or team. Uh, so in my first year, I didn't really have much time to join a team or society because I spent so much of my time in the labs. But in my first degree, um, I played football for the first two years and I also played lacrosse for the final year. And I cannot tell you how much fun I had in these teams. Um, it was so nice to meet loads of people. Some of my really good friends I talked to up until now were met in the football teams. And the societies and teams always hold social events. So for example, every Wednesday at King's College London, uh, we have a sports night. So essentially that's where all the sports teams come out together and basically just have a really sick night. Um, so one thing I could definitely say is to join as many teams as you can. Uh, try something new, you know, like in my third year of university, my last degree, I played lacrosse. And to be honest with you, I, didn't, I had no idea what lacrosse was. Um, and I was like, you know what, lacrosse sounds quite fun. So I, I put it down and I, I joined the lacrosse team and I had so much fun. I learned a new sport, I met so many different people and it just opened my mindset a bit more. Um, so try your best to, you know, maybe go out of your way to do something that you've never done before. Uh, or if you are like a very good sports player, a very good footballer, for example, then maybe go play football, but try something new. University is all about trying to like uh, do as many things as possible that you're not used to. So I do recommend trying something new or sticking to something that you're already good at anyways. The next thing I'd say is to make use of your free time. In university or at least in King's College London, we get uh, things called reading weeks, which are basically our uh, kind of half term, I guess you could say. So in our first year, we had a week off in October and we also had a week off in February as well. 
We had four weeks off for December holidays and we also had um, all of April off. So use your time wisely. Uh, in my first year, I'd, I used that time to travel. So I went to Kenya for a week in October. I went to Kenya for two weeks in December. Um, I went to Amsterdam with my friends in my reading week in February. I went to Croatia in May. Um, so use your time wisely. You will never get as much time as you have in first year. So use that time to just try out new things, travel as much as you can. But aside from all the fun stuff, try and use your time wisely as well. So, you know, try and maybe get a job, do something extra for your CV. So for me, like I said, I work in a lab part-time. So make sure you have fun as well. And also maybe do something that will add to your CV because you'll never get as much time as you do in first year. The next tip and probably the most important tip is to not buy any books at all. I go through my first year without reading a single book. I relied on like Wikipedia, YouTube. Um, I used all these different free resources to get through my first year of um, medicine. In my last degree, I went through three years without buying a single book. A lot of my friends spent like 200 pound on all these brand new books. And I literally didn't spend a single penny on a single book. There are PDFs out there. So if you do feel like you need to use a book, you can always use the PDFs. But to be honest, in medicine, all of the content that you need to know are in the lectures. And if you don't understand a certain topic, you can always go on Wikipedia and check it out. So I do recommend not buying any books at all. Um, if you'd like to, and you have the money to do that, then you know, feel free to, um, but it's not necessary. And you don't have to have the books. So don't fall into that trap that we all did in our first year. The next tip that I really wish I, get, I could give myself is to work throughout the year. In my A-levels, I used to save all of my work till the last minute. I'd revise during April time, like a month before the exams. Shout out to all of you that can relate to me. Um, the university is completely different, especially in medicine. There's so, so much knowledge that you have to go through and have to understand to so make your notes throughout the year. So if you have free periods or you have like an hour here, an hour there in between lectures, don't consider it free. You know, go to the library and write up your notes, go through the lectures that you've been through, uh, prepare for your tutorials, prepare for your dissections and do all the work throughout the year so that in May time when your exams come, you don't have like a big pile of stack of papers you need to get through. I know some of my first year friends did that this year and they had so much stress and they're so stressed out when it came to exam period. Um, but when I came to my exam period in May, I already had like a good set of notes that I could revise from and I already had like a basic level of understanding because I went through it a number of times beforehand. The next point that I would give myself, which kind of ties into what I've already said, is to get out of your comfort zone in some way. Um, so do something different, you know, do something you, you're not comfortable doing, something you've never tried before. So in my first week of uni, um, some people went rock climbing and they asked if I wanted to go. And I was like, you know what, rock climbing, I've never actually done that before. So, you know, why the hell not? And I met loads of amazing people on that trip. Uh, you know, I had so much fun rock climbing. As I said, in my last degree, in my third year, I did lacrosse and I was like, like I said, I don't even know what the hell lacrosse is. Let me know if you know what it is. I probably still don't even know what lacrosse is now, um, but I did lacrosse, I had so much fun. I went to a few socials and I met loads of people. So do something that's different, you know? University, like I said, is about trying new things. It's about discovering yourself and learning new things about yourself and about other people as well. So do something that's not in your comfort zone and that you wouldn't normally do. The next tip that I'd give you is to explore the city. So whether you're studying medicine in London or Newcastle or in Prague, across Europe, spend some time exploring the city. In my last degree, which was in Birmingham, honestly didn't give the city as much time as I wish I did. So right now I'm studying in London and I try as much as possible to go and explore the city, learn new things. Uh, although I am from London, I lived in Northwest London for a very long time. So I never actually went into London very often because I didn't really need to. But right now, in my first year, I lived in central London. Uh, and in my second year, I will be living in central London again. So especially during summertime, I'm trying to spend so much time just in exploring the city. London is a beautiful place and no matter what medical school you end up in, Try your best to explore the city and learn something new about the city because one day you will leave it. And if you are like me, you probably will wish that you gave the city a chance and just enjoy where you are. If you are starting medical school in September, all I can say is that you're going to have an amazing time. Use your summer wisely right now. Enjoy yourself. Uh, don't stress too much because there will be a lot of work that will hit you in September. So enjoy your summer right now. And I can promise you that when you start medical school, you will have an amazing time. If you're in your GCCs or A-levels or you know in your first degree, or if you're studying for UK CAT, all I can say is that it will all be worth it one day. I remember two summers ago, so I spent eight weeks in the labs uh, during my summer. And then after eight weeks of spending in the labs, um, I came back home and I revised for the UK CAT for another three weeks. And after sitting in the UK CAT, I had about two weeks of summer left and I was so stressed out during that period of time. A lot of my friends were traveling, going on holidays, and I was literally in the labs for eight weeks. I was at home, you know, when it was hot outside, I was at home, revised for the UK CAT, and I really didn't enjoy my summer that much. What well, I can promise you is that put in the work now if you're watching this and you're in GCSEs, put in the work now and that one day you do make it to medical school, you'll have an amazing time and it will all be worth it. 
And trust me on that. So this isn't a very long video. I just wanted to kind of sit down and just fire some points at you guys, which were in my head. And hopefully this video will help you in some way or form. So thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope it's helped you in some way or form. I hope it's inspired you. I hope it's motivated you. I hope you're looking forward to medicine. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, feel free to follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Snapchat as well. Make sure you're subscribed as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.